Now, briefly, we take you to an older mandala, a time when the dinosaurs reigned supreme. Unlike your current evolution existence, they were evolving purposefully as one global race of beings, be it plant, animal, it did not matter. Not all were bright, not all were stupid. They were as diverse as you are now. There were some beings that were brilliant. We tell you this, there were levels of civilization in existence you could not even comprehend were we to explain a long enough explanation but be diverse we must return so they chose for all to evolve together always connected in a soul contract around your globe all the mandalas were maintained and fed each other. There was not this mandala here, this one here, this one here, connecting that one there. It was harmony of many mandalas as one. This was potent magic. The guides, as you have your angels, of course, the dinosaurs had their equivalent, the ones you now call the crass name of reptilian, which of course is not their proper name. It is a um, human disrespectful slang word, but the one you call, uh, they were here guiding and mentoring. They were song masters, always singing and helping and evolving. They were beautiful stitching mandalas, encouraging growth, bringing elements together, speaking with one kind of dinosaur saying, why don't you go over here so you can flourish? Oh, it was truly, Truly an enlightened, beautiful time. And then the disaster struck. So, what do you do when you are a guardian and those you guardian over, nine tenths of them are dead? You either pack up and go away, or you stay and you say, I'm going to see if I can help. This is a disaster, but not total destruction. I'll see if I can help. But of course, it did not work so well for those who stayed. They were in a war zone, trying desperately to help those were in pain and suffering and confused and disconnected. If you exist all your time connected to these great mandalas and suddenly they are cut off from you, it was a dark time for all. And the guides, the guardians, were in such distress. And soon they became cut off from theirs. If you are a light being who has always been in one with your collective, and now you are cut off, you are only connected with those who are with you, and you are all in trauma. What do you think will happen to them? We had to record their stories. It was so sad. It was so sad.
they were in such pain. Everyone. It was death of a soul. So. It was a dark time for everyone. There was such great distress. You cannot have a dark cancer appear here and have it not affect everywhere. Earth had to be scissored off so that the rest of existence could survive. You were shut off and those who were there were left with watchers but no one would intervene or guardians the poor life that so short a group was the song of our hearts So those you call the evil corrupt reptilians we see as such pain and sorrow damaged. Such anger that they were not the guardians for the humans for their they could not they were damaged their songs lay forgotten as you rose up saying look at us we're so fabulous their anger festered and you see now the outcome always they are angry they are angry they thwart at you they see themselves as the poor starving people forced outside in the cold and the rain while you are inside having your happy little party so yes they throw rocks at the windows they infiltrate they do everything they can to take you down but here is within each of you a lesson on how to heal for everyone. We tell you these guardians are disconnected from their beautiful race. If they become reconnected, they again return to their natural state but they feel ugly, they feel rejected, they forget who they were, and they do not understand. When you connect with your many individual mandalas, we encourage you to meditate return back in time to explore the previous mandalas that are lying dormant see if you can raise them up from their slumber because they will help to power up magnify expand enhance the grids the networks around your planet at this time and this will awaken the songs, the notes that are familiar to these beings. They will, oh, what, what, what's this, what's this, what's this? And it will be a pleasant experience for them to go, oh, I have, ah, 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 oh. This is how they speak when they are making noises. They do not have words like you. Oh, 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 oh. Is always speak, but eventually they return to their oh, and they become one with your beautiful grids. All their darkness falls from them 
and their family can reach out and connect. Then imagine humans will have two guardians, your angels, and the dinosaur guardians are again called in to help all life rise up as one. This will be amazing and the Sasquatch will hold your hand and help you. This is what we see, what we hope can happen. Do not fear the dark guardians. Do not fear the darkness. For when you sing your song of creation, they sing only sour notes. When you sing your song of love, they sing only pain and destruction. But the love will always overpower. You do not need to connect with them. You just need to send out your song through meditation, through love, through good energy flowing through you, through kindness for all. As you wonder always, how can I be kind? How can I send love out? You become very pure in you. You do not even need to engage with anyone. Just always become more evolved within you. And you will find your light will shine brighter and brighter. And as you are singing the song of love, and they're singing the song of discord, you have your song. Oh, there's a but eventually they keep hearing oh, they go, eh, 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 oh, 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 and they rise up and are absorbed into your grid. So we encourage you where you feel hate, say, hmm. Either I do not need to connect, or I can just send love. My love may not affect them, but when enough send love, an effect will eventually 